Hello my friends, it's Sherry. How's everyone doing today? I'm going to get this glare out of your face. There we go. <laughs> but uh, yes, I am working on something for the garden journals today. So I'm going to show you what I have pulled out. So let me put these to the side. And uh, what I want to do is something a little different. I pulled out, this is my box of coffee dyed envelopes. So, uh, you know, when you, you know, if you have, if you're a thrifter like I have been, you buy cards and I find, uh, I've found, you know, just tons of cards at uh, thrift stores and a lot of times I'll use the card, but I won't use the envelope. So I have tons of white envelopes. So uh, one time I still have some that I need to dye, but um, I have dyed a lot of them as you can see here. And so they're all in here in this box. And so up to here, let's see, these are all, here's one that's a little bit, these two have a little bit of wallpaper on them. Or there's four here that have a little wallpaper decoration on them. And so yeah, you can decorate them after you make them. Let's see, these two have a little decorations on them. Some These are fussy cut flowers from wallpaper. And then, uh, let's see what else. Uh, these here, I have put a little picture, I see, and done a little, a little postmark. Let's see how many are decorated here. And I forgot how many I had already decorated. That's funny because I didn't, I was thinking these were all blank. I for, to, actually forgot I decorated any of them. <laughs> so these are all nicely decorated with a little like, you know, what looks like a little postage stamp, like it's a little sticker or a little picture I cut out with my postmark, my favorite postmark sticker there. So that is cool. Oh, here's a very, very decorated one. Lots of flowers there. But it still has, this is a bigger looking stamp with uh, the postmark. Let's see, I'm going to feel this. This is a uh, paper that I cut out. And so, yeah, all, of, all the way to the back here, and just these, let's see how these decorated. This one is, oh, we've got a big bird. This is from a book I recognize. It's from a children's dictionary. And this is a fussy cut, too, from a book. I think this is two pieces glued together, and I got my little post mark there. And then these two back here. Oh, that has a little stamp on it. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Wow, I really decorate a lot of those. And then uh, I'm glad I got this out because I totally forgot how many envelopes I had already decorated. And these are all little coin envelopes that I decorated with a little piece from. This is, these are little pieces are actually from the seed catalog. And I just basically cut out the little picture from the seed catalog and glued it on here. And so I have all of these ready to go. They're empty. But I can put something in here or whoever gets it can put something in there. So cool. Okay. So today what I wanted to do was take a couple, uh, maybe one or two for each journal. So I need to make sure they're, they're not, I, I kind of maybe will attach them to a page, I think. And if I don't attach them to the page, I could just put them in a pocket or clip them in. But I wanted to make sure they're not longer than the journals. So I'm going to put these over here for a minute. So I have some really like the, the long ones, the number, what are they, number 10 or something like that. These, just regular long envelopes. And then I have the other ones. So this one would fit in here nicely. It's about the same size as the cover. So let me get a couple. Do I have two of those undecorated? Yes. See, they're all coffee dyed. Okay, so we got two for that one. Now let's bring this one over and get two for this one. And I have a little bit of an idea. I just have something I haven't really done before. Let's see, how small do we need? Those are actually a little bit long, even though they're narrow. They're a little long. Let's see if I have some that are not quite as long. They can be a little bit wider, though. Let's see these. That one will fit. So I think I have a couple of those. Oh, this one's a different size. It's smaller. I kind of want the same size. Two the same size. Let's see. These look good here. They're a little wider than those. Oh, there, those are perfect. Look at that. There we go. <laughs> yeah, I should get those other ones dyed, coffee dyed. I just uh, have so many already coffee dyed. I need to use those up. But you know, I have a whole pile of stuff out by my table. 
paper, envelopes, things I want to coffee dye, sitting on a little table, a little table next to my uh, table where I coffee dye, and they're ready to coffee dye. I just gotta, I just gotta do it. So, anyway, so what I thought I would do, besides pu pulling out the envelopes, let's put the journals back over here for the time being, and what I wanted to do, because I wanted to use some Edith Holden in these journals, but I, you know, I didn't put any in, in as pages. And by the time I had all the pages in there, I was like, okay, that's, you know, I already put more pages than I should have in there, probably. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know how we do that. We always put too many pages in there. Just so many things, but they all can't fit into a journal, or else it's just going to be crazy. <laughs> so, I have, uh, this is the Edith Holden book the regular size one. In here I have what I have left of a smaller one. If you've ever seen, there's a smaller one. And uh, I, I got all my Edith Holden books on eBay. I never found one in the wild. <laughs> so, oh, wait, these aren't, is this Edith Holden? Maybe this was in an Edith Holden book, but it's in here. Anyway, it's cool. But um, yeah, uh, if you find the little one, it is cool too because it's just smaller and it's great for, you know, here, this is one of the pages from the smaller one and it's just great for making ephemera, the smaller ones, and or you can make pages out of them too and of course the bigger pages are great for making pages and ephemera too, so, and they're, they're you know, much bigger. So what I wanted to do was cover, see what I could do, maybe at least cover the side, the, you know, this side here just with a page from the Edith Holden books and then see what we're going to do with them in the journal. So maybe we'll concentrate on using the smaller pages since this is a smaller um, area that we want to cover. And like this this page here, oh, it has a pretty on the other side, so I probably would use this side. So one of these envelopes, oh, this is a bigger page too, so I could use like the top half on here and the bottom half on here. I kind of want to get some flowers though if I can though, so let's see what we have here. Okay, so, so we're going to concentrate on the smaller images or smaller pages. As we're working on smaller uh, areas here. So this is a pretty one. Uh, let's just look for a, these are leaves. I kind of want to see if I can find, like here's some flowers. Here's leaves, berries, leaves. Here's some flowers here. One, here's some more flowers. And, oh gosh, they hardly ever come out. To, they usually come out as separate pages. But uh, that doesn't matter. <laughs> There's a little flower with a bird on it. These are really pretty, though. Let's see. Uh, let me see if I can pick a side, because I'm going to have to pick out a side and glue the other side down. Let's just put those out here, because those are possibilities. And it's, if there's any flowers, like, say, this one here. Let's pull this one off. This one has words on the back, so I don't, even though I love the font and the words on these in the Edith Holden books, I would rather glue down words than glue down a picture. So this is a pretty, looks like a, yeah, I was going to say it looks like a thistle. It says thistle seed right there, and it has a cute little bird on it. So there's two, and let's see what else we have here. These are mostly leaves and like seed pods, there's leaves and berries again. Oh, here's some mushrooms. Let's take out a mushroom page. Oh, let's take out two mushrooms. Well, let's, what's on the, oh, that's on the, oh, it's words, yay! <laughs> and I don't feel so bad about covering up the berries when there's beautiful mushrooms on the other side. So maybe I can uh, use mushroom, you know, make a mushroom for each, make a mushroom, um, envelope for each journal and then make a use the other flowers one for each journal so let's divide them up so I don't get confused <laughs> I got the bird and the flower so see these are going in the bigger one so let's use like 
mushroom envelope and then envelope bird and then envelope here's mushroom let's see how that's going to work out Yeah, it'll, it'll have a scrap, but I'll still be able to, you know, use it in some way. Because I don't, you know, I don't waste my scraps, even when they're plain, but when they have something really beautiful on them, I especially, like, use every little piece of it. And then this flower, one, I think this one will go, and then this will be cut off a little bit. But anyway, there we go. I didn't try not to be too choosy there, and just kind of, whatever I picked up, I put it together. So this one we're not going to end up using. Let's put it back in the book. Okay, so all I'm going to do is now make these fit onto the envelopes. And we'll have beautiful envelopes. And the back will be coffee dyed. It even has some nice uh, shading on there with some spots and things. I think that's cool when it comes out with spots sometimes. So I'm just going to... Do I need my paper cutter? I think I do. Uh, let me put the, let's do the two big ones, and then we'll do the two little ones. Let me get my paper cutter. Well, you know what? I think I'm going to use my ruler and tear it. I think that'll be prettier on here. So, let's put it on top here, like this. And we'll just take it to, I think I'll take it to the top corner so I have the number. There's a little number right here. And so I'll take the envelope to the top corner. Put it right on the edge there. And then we'll just tear it right here. We'll have this little scrap to use in something or on something. I also pulled out some trims I want to put in. I don't know if we'll get to that today. There's, this, there's a little scrap. Maybe if I don't use it in here. I mean, I sometimes I think people might think it's a little weird. Like to put a little scrap like that in the goodie bag. But... You know, if I, that's one way I keep up with my scraps is I will include some scraps that I don't figure out something to do with in the goodie pack so somebody else can use their imagination. If they don't want them, they can throw them away. But, you know, if I kept it, I would use it. But, um, you know, why not give somebody else to have a little, a chance to have a little fun with the scraps. So that's the torn edge. I think that's really pretty. Even though it's just on two, it's fine. And so we'll just glue this down with some, some art glitter glue. It's just paper on paper, so it'll glue down just fine with art glitter glue. And these will be beautiful Edith Holden envelopes in quick and simple and easy, you know. Nothing complicated about this. Tearing down the paper to fit and gluing it down. <laughs> it doesn't get any more easier than that. And they're, they're going to be very beautiful. And I, like I said, I don't know how I'm going to put them in there yet. So we'll uh, look at that too in a minute. And uh, really, if you uh, see the background of this paper, is kind of like, almost looks like the coffee dyed paper that I have here. It's almost this kind of similar colors. So if you, like I can see a little bit of the envelope on the edge, but since my envelope is coffee dyed, you you can see it, but I don't think it matters. I mean, it doesn't bother me and hope it, hopefully it wouldn't bother anyone else. So anyway, there's one. So let's get this one done. Let's see how we want to do this. So I'm going to try to put this one. The number is over there. Let's see how that comes out. I could get the whole number on this one too. Yeah, I think I could do that. I think that would be good. Okay, that's fine. So let's just turn it around here for a second. And get it on the edge of the paper. And then tear again. This is just a regular ruler, by the way. I know you probably already know that, but just in case you were wondering. I've never had a tear ruler. I just tear with this one. <laughs> it's fine. It has this kind of like flat edge over here. This side is kind of like beveled or something over on the other side. So I use this flat side to try to tear on that because it makes a nice straight tear. You know, as you can see, as you can see the torn edge, it looks like it's torn, but it's nice and straight. 
And I kind of really like that kind of tear, you know, myself, instead of a, a jagged one. I don't know, it's just me. <laughs> it might just be me, but that's what I like. So, that's what I do. I'm just putting it on the end, edge of the envelope and then tearing in that way. My paper will be the right size, and there's some more scraps. <laughs> I know it's crazy to keep those, but I have the, on this side, they have the, some of the words. Right there's some words. Uh, it could be used in a collage or, you know, master board, whatever. So I will glue this down here. And so I think this is going to be interesting to see what we do with these envelopes. Because I have an idea in my head. I just don't know. <laughs> This, it might be an epic fail, so then we'll have to go to plan B. So we'll see if it works out. All right, let's glue this down. See, I just heard a car. I might have to pause and see what's going on because I'm expecting company. And I was hoping to get this video done before they get here. So I'm going to go check and see if they're here. Okay, there's those two. We're going to work when I get back. If I don't, my company's not here. <laughs> that is. We'll work on these two and see how these two turn out. But those are really pretty, aren't they? And they're envelopes so we can put something inside. I'll be right back. Okay, they're not here yet. So, woo! We get to, we get to do a little bit more work. So let's do this. Yeah, if they get here, I'll... I will, uh, I don't want to wait. Like I said, I don't want to waste any of this page. Oh boy, that's my dryer. <laughs> that was loud. I like to know when it's done, so I have my buzzer on. Okay, I think I'm going to just put this over to the side as far as possible. The number's over here. Over here it says to toadstools. So, but I want, I like, I think I want to try to get these, uh, brighter ones in there. Brighter colored ones. So I'm thinking... I put it at the top. Let me see if I'll get the whole. Yeah, I pretty much will. Why don't we do that? We'll put it at the top of this one. We'll get the word toadstools, and we'll have pretty much all of those, those brightly colored uh, mushrooms in there. So let's make sure this is in the right spot. And tear away and get these done. I was expecting my my oldest son is bringing my granddaughter over today. I'm watching her, and my my his wife, my daughter-in-law, is at work today, and uh, he works from home. So usually he will do his work. I mean, he'll do what he can when he, during the day when his his wife, my daughter-in-law, is at work, but a majority of his work he'll do after they go to bed at night. <laughs> so he works sometimes all night, and then he'll sleep, or half the night, and then he'll get some sleep before my granddaughter wakes up. And then he'll be up, and he'll be taking care of her, because he works from home, you know what I'm saying? So... He's gotten so busy at work, at his work, at where he works at home, but he's so busy and has so much work that um, I'm babysitting today on a Sunday so that he can try to get some extra work done. So hopefully he will be able to do that, even though it's just to basically be, uh, it'll be a little bit of the morning and all afternoon probably and then he'll come pick her up and have her home in time for when his wife or my granddaughter my mother <laughs> my daughter-in-law gets uh, home Whew. so he'll be able to get some work done today that he usually doesn't is not able to get done because he's I mean, she does play by herself, so he can get some work done, but he doesn't just leave her, you know, all day. I mean, he's not just there and she's there. He take, he really takes care of her. You know, he gets her dressed in the morning and feeds her and, you know, breakfast, lunch, whatever, snacks. 
make sure she's taken care of well so so he doesn't get a whole lot of work done <laughs> during the day is what I'm saying okay so like I'm not distressing these or anything but if somebody gets these and they want to be like oh let's distress these you know put some ink around you know go for it I, I'm just not you know I, I feel like they're already distressed with the coffee and these pages are naturally distressed by their color so I'm not doing that but whoever gets them you know more power to you go right ahead you know and I used to distress more but um, I don't feel like it's that necessary anymore <laughs> I don't know why I'm just not in that mode I guess but I when I I do distress I'm not saying I never do I do do, do a lot of distressing when I feel like you know sometimes I'll be like oh I definitely have to distress this and I do so it just depends when it when it you know calls out to me and says distress me then I do it <laughs> right I guess these aren't calling me I just mentioned it because in case somebody was wondering well why aren't you distressing this a lot of people distress those that's why because they're not telling me to <laughs> Nice scraps, I think. Okay, now, so we glued that one down. Gluing this one down, make sure I wanted a pink flower on this side, so we're doing that. Gluing that side down, and I kept the number over there. By the way, I didn't think I mentioned it, but there's a number in that corner, too. So, let's see if this is going to work. That's what I had in mind. So, I'm make sure I have enough glue on these edges. Yeah, I'm glad I um I kind of didn't I thought I wasn't gonna be able to put any Edith Holden in here because I didn't put them in as a page, but then I thought about covering these envelopes and I thought hmm that could work you know that could actually work. So now <laughs> let's see let's see if that's going to work what I was thinking of doing. So I wanted to, and I don't have a place for it, so we're going to have to look here. A place where we can glue the flap down. And the flaps are like these little flaps like that. Okay, so, you know, we need a place where we can glue a flap down where I haven't put it like a little decoration. See, I got a little butterfly there. I got a fold out here, so of course we can't put them there. It has to be a flat edge. That is a full length page pretty much because that's how these are going to be fit in here. And so, and I don't want to cover up anything except like, see I love this. This is from a little, one of those little um, flower guides. So pretty. I love it. Here's a little scrap piece of fabric I must have cut off and it fell in there. <laughs> it actually looks cute there. And some washi tape. That's pretty. Looking at my... Isn't that what I did here? Okay. This is a pocket, so I can't put it on that page. This just has a... I've done a lot in here already, really. See, there's a flip-up. Can't put it there. Here I put a little fabric trim. <laughs> here I put the little playing card. See, so there's a lot of pages I can't put it on. Or I say I don't want to put it on because I don't want to cover up something. So, hmm, interesting, right? Where are we going to put it? I don't want to cover up any of that. I feel like the graph paper is not strong and, you know, it's paper. I'd rather put it on something a little stronger, a stronger paper or cardstock. I don't really want to cover up any of that. Now, this is a possibility, but it's a little bit of a shorter page. But, oh, the flap would fit on there. The flap would pretty much fit on there. Oh, and that would fit nicely. So I was thinking of something like, Gluing the flap down over there, and it, or it could be tuck spot, and then taking this one. Oh, you know what? Yeah, that's not going to work. What I was going to oh, I need to cut a little piece off here. But I was thinking of taking this one, and I should have done it before, or like this, and then have like a double flip out. So this is an idea you can use, but you just have to do it differently. So you would have, if this was glued down, you'd have a flip out and then glue this one here. And you'd have like a double flip out is what I'm trying to get at, like that. And then one side, 
you could, if you did it right, I didn't do it right, but if you did it right, you could have one side where you would have some tuck spots, and then the other side, and then the, where you have the tuck spots, like this side where there's nothing here, you could write on it, or put more decoration, whatever you want to do, glue something, and then this side would be two pictures, or have the picture on this side, and See, I could have glued this under the picture if I would have thought about it. And I was trying to think if there's still a way to do this and not and have it upright. If I do, oh yeah, here we go. I can do it like this. Let's see if that'll fit. I'd have to glue it like that. Okay, let's see if this will work. So I glue that one flap on the other side of the page. This is how we figure things out, right? So glue this flap over here. And then it will open up like this. And we have another envelope. And open up like this. And I can glue this flap down here. And then we still have two tuck spots. One here. Okay, that'll work. Yeah, so there's several different ways to do it, I guess. I think that'll work. So let's start by, let me see, there was a piece I needed to glue. This has a little piece of uh, the book page sticking out beyond the envelope, so I would like to cut that even. So I didn't glue it down even, but now we can cut it off. It, doesn't, it won't matter one way or the other. Let's see. piece up here too. Allergy season for me. It's like all year long is practically allergy season. I'm always sniffling, right? <laughs> always grabbing a tissue. But now isn't the real allergy suit. It's when it gets the rubber meets the road and gets serious. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna glue this down. And I kind of want to glue it down so that we have a tuck spot over there. Look at the shading. That has some good shading on it. So I'm just going to put some glue like right along here, just a little thin, as thin as I can, but enough to glue it down right there. I don't want to make it, I don't want to make it hard to fold out and I don't want the, uh oh, what was I gluing it on now? I lost my page over here. There we go. I'm going to tuck it right up into the fold, get it kind of even on there, okay, and then it'll fold down like that. So there's plenty of room for this one, plenty of room for that one, and that looks beautiful. Okay, this is, this is, this is good, even if I just did this. See, now there's a tuck spot over here, or somebody, if they didn't want, like, say someone gets this journal, I leave this as a tuck spot. And they want to glue something on here they can glue this down and glue right over that you know what i mean that's the beauty of a junk journal first of all you have a layered page so that's cool and then you can glue something on here and it would look really cool too so lots of so many options when you when you uh, work in a junk journal so now we're going to glue this is going to be upright too that's what i was worried about i would have to turn this around and then it wasn't going to work so I'm going to completely glue this flap down. It will become part of the other envelope, like, because it's all glued down. And so, yeah. I just want to make sure the fold is going to be right. Like, you know what I mean? Do I need to pull this out a little bit? I actually, it's like, bare, well not, not really, but maybe a little. Okay, so I'm going to try to glue it down. And then fold it before it dries in case I need to maneuver it around a little bit. Okay, so glue on here. Yes, we're doing this right. Yes, we are. <laughs> glue on here. Thanks for working it out with me. I hope you're enjoying it. <laughs> a little experiment. You know, I'm always experimenting, aren't I? If you don't watch my channel, I'm always experimenting like this, trying new things right on video. <laughs> Because I get it in my head and I'm like, oh, i got to try that. And then I go and try it on video. I should do it first, right? But then, you know, what fun would that be? 
Okay, so now see, this is where I need to make sure it folds in. Okay, yeah, it's folding, it's folding. Okay, it is folding. I'm just pushing the glue down there. Okay, We're, we are good. Let me make sure it's not going to mess up my envelope, though. And that's, that's one side that I tore. Okay, so we'll have... I have a double, double fold out envelope there, and that's what I want to do in the other one too. And then see here, where's my little, did I put it in there? My little piece of, I don't hear it. Hold on, let me grab some. Oh, here's my little journaling card that I made. So I can show you. Tuck spot there, tuck spot there. And then you have all this space here where something can be glued or written on here. So it's like a Franken envelope, almost. <laughs> Franken envelope. Okay. So let's do the other one. That is cool, right? I like doing different things, trying new things. Okay, I need a tissue. Uh, I always have a tissue box behind me. So I could grab one. Yeah, I'm allergic to the yellow pollen. I'm highly allergic to the yellow pollen. So I don't go outside now. This is the time of year I do not go outside. But I really am like dying to go outside because it's so nice. You know, I'm like dying to go outside and do something. Nope, that's not what I need. I'm dying to go outside because it's so nice and spring and sunny. But I do go outside. I just, if I go outside, I have to be prepared to blow my nose a lot and take allergy pills. So I don't really like to take allergy pills because they either make me sleepy or foggy. And I don't like, it's like... If they don't make me, they, if I don't feel foggy, sometimes I don't feel foggy, but I think I actually am because I'm like, maybe I would do something wrong, like at work or something. Not wrong, but you know what I mean? I'm not as on detailed or whatever because my brain is foggy, even though I don't feel foggy. I hope that makes sense. Maybe you guys are like that too if you have allergies like I do. Like maybe if you take an allergy pill, sometimes you don't actually feel foggy, but you know you are because you may be, you know, and I don't want to be like that. You know, I don't want to be like, I don't want to miss anything and do anything wrong at work. And so I try not to take the allergy pills, but sometimes, okay, we're looking for a page for these, like we did that one and we'll probably end up, I mean, we're going to end up doing the exact same thing. So let's do that. So I'm going to turn until we find a page. See here, here I have a little butterfly, so I can't put it on here. I don't want to cover any of that up. Graph paper, which I don't like. I mean, I like, I don't like it for this. I don't want to glue an envelope onto it. I love it for writing papers. Or you can draw your garden plan on there. That's why I put it in here. Just one second. Okay, I had to pause. My husband came in the house. He's working outside, and he has boots on. He came in the house. He usually takes, if he's going to stay in the house, he takes his shoes off. But he came in, and he's like a clumping all through the house. So, <laughs> I'm not complaining. I'm just saying. It was noisy. So, anyway, while I was uh, waiting for him to come and go, again, he's going back outside. Uh, I looked for a page here, and this is in the second signature of the other journal. The bigger, you know, a little bit bigger one. So I'm going to put the mushroom first here, and then do the same thing like we did on the other one. So a little before my company gets here and we'll get this done, a little glue here like we did on the other one. And then we'll glue this down. This is a page with uh, like a chart from a, it's a children's a gardening book. And this is a little chart from that from that book from for gar it's a gardening chart, but it says children something or other right there. So there's that one. And then let's see how do we do that now? Oh yeah, we did it like this. Okay, let's let's see how it's going to work out again. I think this one may have to be out a little bit more though. See, when I fold it, it's going to be too small so I need a little bit of sliver a little bit of sliver out so like from here I need to cut a little piece I see some paper here I need to cut off too cut that off. 
sticking out beyond the flap. Got to be careful. I don't want to cut the flap. Okay, there we go. Yeah, you can't even tell I cut that off. Okay, so we're going to leave a little bit of sliver of envelope here and start to glue like just a sliver down. Because uh, we're gluing this completely down on there. And make sure we glue it upright. And we glue it down. We put it down. this over a little bit so you can make sure you can see here okay so we left that sliver without glue and we're going to put this down here let's see I need to kind of see so let me bend it this way okay let me move it over so you can see and we're going to leave a little sliver there so it can I think I'm doing this right it needed a little sliver there so it didn't come as far over this way, like that. Okay, yep, that is right. Okay, we did it right. Let me press all the glue down here. Okay, so again, uh, two tuck spots, all this space. There's one envelope, there's two envelopes. These have some nice shading on them too. And there's the bird, and there's the mushrooms. So isn't that fun? Something a little different. And I don't, I don't know if I've ever done that before with envelopes. I don't remember doing it, but that doesn't mean I haven't. <laughs> but I don't remember ever doing that before. So two things I never did before. That and the little booklet, gluing down a whole booklet into a journal. So, yeah, these are getting... Full. There's the booklet right there. No, that's the envelopes. I wanted to see. It doesn't make it too bulky. But I think that's going to be it. I think my company might hear. I think I think I be here. I think I hear, I hear a car. So anyway, that's what we're going to do for now. And I'll be on to the next uh, little part that I'm going to do. I pulled out this trim here. I thought it look, would look nice. It's got some blues and greens and a little like coral color, some white some gold or yellow in there so that's a pretty trim and then I pulled out these bright orange flowers <laughs> so add a little color right so we'll see what I do with those and uh, I'll be seeing you in my next video have a great day